this is a uh, third and final video uh, about tweaking or fine tuning text in uh, InDesign for the Spread the Word project in Word and Image. Um, we're going to talk about how to identify and fix widows and orphans in columns of text. Okay, so what is a widow and what is an orphan? Um, I've highlighted in red uh, the offending widows and orphans here. A widow, well, actually, we'll start with the orphan. We like to start with orphans. The orphans are um, any very short one, two, three word um, lines that are at the end of paragraphs, like this guy here, and this, whoops, and this guy here, and this guy here, and this guy here. Uh, here. Very good. Um, what's happening here is they're so darn short that you're, this idea of this overall gray, you're going for this texture of your columns, um, your nice rag um, along the edge here, nice rag, 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 nice even in and out, all of a sudden is interrupted by a huge shaft of white because this line is just too narrow um, or too short. It's too short and it leaves a big gap of white. And that is unnecessary and, and, and aesthetically ugly uh, in the realm of text. And we can fix these often. Widows, on the other hand, are whenever we have a few words um, left from the, from the last column, we have one line, one short line left at the top of the following column, where we've got this uh, widow just all by herself, uh, widowed from her paragraph. And we want her to not be widowed. So um, what we do to fix orphans and widows is basically um, we try and get them to be absorbed. In the case of orphans, we want them to be um, absorbed into the line above them somehow, if we can manage that. Or we want a, a number of other words to kind of wrap down and join that orphan in order to lengthen the orphan. In the case of widows, they definitely um, need to go away um, and they need to be absorbed or you have to cons conspire to um, perhaps bring another couple of lines, reflow your, your, your column, previous column somehow and get that to add another line or so at the top. So, um, and this is not the right way to do it, but just what I, to, to demonstrate what I mean by that, whoops, to have another line come down somehow. Um, this is not ideal because I've left a gap at the bottom of this other guy here. So we'll, there's other ways to fix this. Um, another thing to be aware of, two very important things to be aware of before you get started with widows and orphans. Um, first of all, there are some manuscripts. Let me hit W. There are some manuscripts out there. Oops, we've lost something here. Ah. Where are you? All right. There are some manuscripts out there that are, um, they tend to be ones with very short lines, lots of short lines, and those tend to happen with dialogue. Um, and in those cases, there may be orphans you cannot fix. It's just, it, they're just going to be, there's just too many lines. Uh, they're too short. And some of these techniques I'm showing you are just not going to allow you to create um, um, an even thing. And, and creating a nice pleasant rag at the same time is probably gonna be very difficult with those types of manuscripts. So when you are encountering that type of manuscript um, with a lot of short lines, dialogue, that sort of thing, um, don't drive yourself crazy trying to fix it because it's very likely not going to fix. The other thing, and perhaps even more important is that this particular stage of, of fine tuning your projects 
or your text is something you do at the absolute end of your design process. You've got everything in place in your layout. You've got your illustrations. Um, you've got your pull quotes. You've got spot illustrations. You've got your grid all set up. You've, you've formatted your text. Um, you've applied paragraphs to your text. You've applied, um, uh, you've, you've tweaked rags and all that sort of thing. You've done a lot of things to, to, and you're really close to the final, final stage. And that's when you start worrying about fixing widows and orphans because they happen very easily when you move things around. Uh, things will change. If you move a spot illustration with text wrap around or a pull quote, it's gonna push type around and it's going to create and, and remove these um, orphans and widows um, a little, you know, a little here and there as it goes along. So it really, it doesn't make any sense to worry about this stuff until the end when you're doing your final, your final runs on this. So start then. The other thing to keep in mind when you are working with widows and orphans is to always start at the beginning of your stories. Because if you fix something on right here, let's do it. We'll, well, we'll, I'll show you how to fix it. When you fix something up here, it may very well fix something downstream in the text. If I am able to get this orphan to go away, then that widow will go away. Um, if for some reason to fix something here, I make another line, then this will go away because it'll have another line on top of it. So, um, and some of the things as I move things around may create new widows and new orphans. So you want to start at the top and you want to go through, um, your thing, you go through your manuscript from the top to the end or the beginning to the end, instead of dropping into the middle of your manuscript where you say, oh, there's an orphan here in the middle of my manuscript, I'll fix it. Don't bother because there might be orphans ahead of it that or other changes ahead of it that are going to make it moot. Okay, so how do you fix orphans and widows? Well, the strategies are, as I mentioned, to absorb the orphan or lengthen the orphaned line somehow. Um, and another possibility is to change something in the layout. Remember I mentioned about word wrap, text wrap rather, and um, your pull quotes in the case of the magazines we're working on. Well, um, if you reposition your pull quote and it pushes type around a little bit, that might fix something. It may create other problems, but it may fix something. So there can be little things that can change and fix things if necessary. All right, so how do we get rid of this guy? Let's see if we can get rid of this, this one right here. I'm not gonna do all of them because pff, you don't wanna see me fix all of these, but let's see if we can absorb it. So what are strategies or possible adjustments that we can use? All right, so first of all, you wanna make these changes usually on a, a whole paragraph, not necessarily all of your paragraphs, but the paragraph in question. So you select the whole paragraph um, like I have done. And then you can try by just tweaking tracking a little bit, imperceptibly small amounts of tracking that the human eye shouldn't notice, at least the untrained eye. So um, that is all found under, um, of course, window and uh, type and tables in the character panel. So we can do in the character panel, again, any, anytime you're working with, with text, you will find that all of these tools are up here in your control panel anyway, but let's use the character panel for this. So I've got very little tracking or no tracking going on right now. So uh, I'm suggesting maybe up to five or up, uh, as, uh, up to minus five here uh, at the most. And uh, let's start at less than, let's try at minus one, maybe minus, uh, one is enough to fix it. It is, oh, doesn't like that at all. Let's try that again. Minus one. I don't know why. Oh, I did like that. All right. All I needed to do was track it in by one little iota. So that fixed that. And guess what? When I did that, my widow went away. So um, let's try this guy here. The longer the paragraph, the more impact you do, these changes can have. So a longer paragraph hopefully will lead to a 
uh, a solution faster. So minus one, nope. Oh, I think I remember this paragraph being a problem in the past. Let's go minus 10. It works at minus 10, but again, minus 10 is, will make it look dense. So I don't wanna go that deep. Um, let's try minus five. Doesn't like it, doesn't like it. Um, that's usually as much as I want to go and it's not. So let's see if we can just, um, well, I, well, if I put 10, it'll do it, not 10. So this one's going to be a little bit of a problem to try and get rid of this. Um, one possible way of doing this would be to go in and go up a little bit and start trying to get some lines to come down. Maybe we build it up with a little bit of extra a little bit of extra. We've already given it a little bit. We've given it five to make it a little bit wider. Um, now I'm going to take my uh, my my um, uh, cursor, put it in to a short word, and hit return. And one soft return. Remember, a soft return is when we hold down the shift and we hit return, not with just hitting return. Oh, all right. So I was behind this guy. I hit one little soft return, so shift return, and that put three lines here. And that I would say, you know, we're starting to get long enough there that it's 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 doable. We can we can say that that is no longer an orphan. Um, and I said I wasn't going to do all of these, so I'm not going to do all of these. I I suspect this one's going to be a real pain. Um, and I will notice, I will mention that if you have a, uh, an orphan at the end, at the bottom of a paragraph, I'm sorry, at the bottom of a column, not as big a deal because it's not right over another line of text that you're, and you don't see the gap as much. So you don't really have to worry about them at the bottom of um, a paragraph um, when it's at the bottom, bottom of a column of text. Um, if things get really desperate, um, again, you might try the horizontal scale. Um, again, you don't want to do more than maybe 3% or maybe make it a little bit wider by 3% up to five. I don't know. That's, ugh. I don't know. That might be a bit, I think I'm starting to notice it. So, um, all right. This one might just be one of those ones. It's a real pain. Uh, maybe a soft return to bring that guy down another soft return. Then we've got kind of a weird rag going on here. This one's a real pain. Sometimes it's hard to make these things work out. Um, so it, it, again, don't drive yourself crazy. Sometimes it's just unavoidable. Uh, but something like this guy here with this really long paragraph atop it. Wow, I should be able to that. Just a tiny little tweak here. Again, it goes straight to minus 10 because that's my default. It goes all the way to 10, but I don't think it should. Just minus one on the tracking and it is fine. The longer the paragraph, the more impact a little change like that can have because it has so many lines to apply it to that it's going to tend to work very quickly. All right, so I've actually fixed just about all of these except for this pesky one right here. He might not work out. Okay. Um, the rule of thumb here is again, um, you can use this, um, um, you can miss it, mix and match some of these uh, techniques to get things to work. But at the end of the day, you don't want to have one of your uh, paragraphs, um, you know, squint your eyes at that. It's going to look a little darker because I really went nuts with the tracking. You don't want any of your one paragraph to stand out as appearing that different than the rest. You want that to be that even color overall. And, and, and also, if you really mess around with tracking and you're merging your letters together accidentally, if they're, if they're getting too close together, that's actually going to impact legibility and make it harder on your reader. So just be careful of that. And uh, oh, here's another desperate thing, another sneaky thing, which is a little fussy. Um, but if you hold down, if you are in a real bind, let's try it with this guy. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but you never know. That there is actually a way to universally affect the word spacing between words. Um, and that is by holding down. It, there doesn't seem to be, to my knowledge, um, any place that actually controls this um, in a panel that's easy to get to. So I usually do this, if I have to do this, I do this with the quick key 
approach, and that is holding down the shift, the option and the command, and hitting backspace, or actually hitting delete, sorry, hitting delete a little bit, a couple times, you'll see that I'm actually making um, the word spaces narrower. I'll get really crazy here. It's not gonna fix the problem, by the way. That's way too crazy. Um, it, to go in the other direction, it's backspace, uh, uh, backslash, I'm sorry. Underneath the delete key, there is the, um, the pipe and the backslash key. And if you hit that, that actually adds space between your, um, your uh, words. Uh, that is again, very desperate and don't, and again, make sure that you don't make it so tight that it, or too loose that it, it's noticeable. All right, and that is what I wanted to show you guys with regards to fixing orphans and widows. Thank you for listening. And that is the end of the tweaking uh, text videos.